Hello and welcome back to another Made With Love tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to weave in all of your ends to make your work look perfect. When we've cast off our work you have this lovely colour changing swatch here but what happens with all these bits and bobs over here so now I'm going to show you how to weave those in to get them out of the way and have your work looking nice and neat and tidy. So first thing we're going to do is with one of the ends, they're nice and long tails to be able to weave in. So just put that through the eye of this darning needle by just, I like to fold it in half a little bit just to be able to give it a little bit of an easier way in. So once it's on your needle like so, if you see here the way that certain stitches are flowing, for example, if I start going up through here, through this, and you see how this stitch goes up here, across and back down. We're gonna follow that. So we're gonna go up through this bar, like so, and see how it goes along here and then down back through this bar. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go down through that bar. And where does that go from there? Where does that stitch go? That stitch goes through here and across here. So we're gonna go through the bar here and we're gonna follow that stitch all the way along. So you see here, it goes through this next bar and up to this bar. So we're going to follow it through here, like so. And we're going to just continue to follow that row of yarn along here, down through here, through the yellow, like so, and alternating our way. So we go rack round through here. That's the stitch we want to follow. Up through here, this yellow bar, up through this pink bar, and we're just weaving in our ends so that when we are enough through with weaving in our ends, we can cut it so that it won't unravel. And on the other side, you can't see where we've woven it in. And you'll be able to hide all your ends in that way to have a nice, neat and tidy project. Thank you for watching that Made With Love tutorial. I hope it was useful to you. But if you need any more help with your knitting or anything crafty, we have plenty more tutorials where that came from. So for now, keep making with love.